voted down. The ETS defeated in the Senate, so will that trigger an early election? Rate rage, Westpac customers furious after the bank slugs them almost double the official rise. Tiger's troubles, another woman, plus a new theory about his bizarre car crash ordeal. And workers evacuated as a Melbourne factory goes up in flames. This is Nine News with Wendy Kingston. Good afternoon. The Rudd government is declaring war, saying it won an election on climate change once and it can do it again. The emissions trading scheme was voted down in the Senate today for a second time and that could trigger a double dissolution and mean we head to the polls early. Tim Lester is in Canberra. Good afternoon, Tim. First, though, the Rudd government isn't giving up on the ETS. Quite the opposite, Wendy. It will try to push the legislation through a third time, beginning February 2nd, the day Parliament returns in the new year. 